to my channel. Now for this video, I'm doing an e.l.f. haul and an e.l.f. try on makeup sort of video. I really love e.l.f. and how affordable they are. The products seem very pigmented when I swatch them. Hopefully they'll perform the same on the skin. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So the first thing I picked up was this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder and this is in the shade um, medium to dark. It looks like this. This is going to be a good powder to set our face hopefully because I get really oily throughout the day. And the next thing I got was this beautifully bare lightweight concealer stick in medium to dark. It looks a little bit light for my skin tone. I don't know. We'll have to see how this performs on the skin. Next thing I got was this Flawless Matte Eyeshadow, Matte for Plum. This little eyeshadow palette. It has a bunch of shades that I normally use when I normally do my makeup, like purples and browns. Next thing I picked up was this e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara, and this is in the very black shade. Hopefully this gives my lashes a lot of volume and length, because that's what I like in a mascara. The next thing I picked up was this e.l.f. lip lacquer and this is in the shade burgundy. I love my burgundy and my red shades so let's, let's swatch. Does it want to come out? Okay, got it. Right, so let's swatch it. And this is just, I think it's a lip gloss. The color payoff is quite nice for a lip gloss. And I also want to swatch the eyeshadows, see how creamy and how pigmented they are. Hmm. It's a bit chalky if you ask me. I mean, it's not showing up true to color. It's showing up true to color on my fingertips, but when you swatch them on your hand, a bit chalky, which... I mean, I think this product was like $2. So... Let's just see how well they perform on the eyes later on. The next thing I got was this e.l.f matte lip color in the shade wine you guys know my red and my burgundy obsessions when it comes to like eyeshadow and lipstick i'll swatch this for you guys Ooh, this, this goes on very creamy looks like that i'm obsessed especially since fall is coming around oh my god I live for them. Next, I got this brightening eyeliner pencil in the shade Coffee. I don't want to get the black, I wanted to get the brown. I have too many black eyeliners. So, let's just take a little swatch to see what this. Let's see how this swatches. And I like how it comes with a little tiny um, sharpener. So, you don't have to like go and find your other sharpener that you've misplaced since you began your makeup collection. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna do this right here. Creamy. Yeah, that's very, very creamy. Wow. I think this was like a dollar or two. Next thing I picked up was this e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. And I have two of these already. I have the hydrating one and I have the purple one. I think that one is for color correcting. And I feel like they all work the same. I just want to see if this one's different. It says, This multi-purpose primer preps your skin and fills in fine lines. So makeup goes on evenly for a long-lasting matte finish. And I have oily skin, so hopefully this will do the trick. Kind of feels like the other ones, like they, had, like it has this silicone feeling to it. 
into it, but we have to see how it performs on the skin. But not as oily as the other ones. Next thing I got is this e.l.f. foundation palette. The last thing I think I got is this e.l.f. baked highlighter and bronzer. This is in the shade Bronzed Glow, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Like, that is a beautiful highlighter for lighter skin tones. Like, I will definitely try it on as a highlighter, but I don't know how it's gonna go. So, I already prepped my eyes because I don't trust any other eye primer on my eyes except for my Urban Decay and now the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer because I feel like. I, my eyelids get too oily so to prep my skin I'm gonna start with this primer by e.l.f. this is the mineral infused face primer this is supposed to keep your skin matte and make your makeup last all day long so I'm just gonna put this all over my face Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I got this one too. I took it out for swatching and I never put it back in the box. But this, I think this is the Clay um, clay Eyeshadows by e.l.f. It looks like this. I can't move it around a lot because the glue, if you guys can hear that, the glue is loose. And when I opened it, the eyeshadows were flying all over the place. Anyway, they swatched beautifully. So we'll see how that performs on my eyes. The next step, I'm going to go into this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Hopefully this is my shade. This is the medium to dark one. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Tapered Brush to set my eye primer in place. Wow, this thing is pigmented. Like, do you guys see that? That's the brush, and that's how much product I just picked up. And that was like two swipes. So far, so good. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. It set my eye perfectly. Usually with the Anastasia, um, con the one from the contour kit. I think that's in the shade Macchiato. Usually, I have to like go in two, three times in order for it to be this opaque. Oh my god, look at it! Ooh. And like that, my eyes are set. So, next, we're gonna go into this elf palette right here and we're gonna go into this shade yeah this purpley shade and we're gonna just put that in the crease oh my god look at that that's the pro okay so usually the brown is it was there from another makeup look but that is how much product got packed onto my brush hopefully it's not chalky i'm praying it's not chalky so let's go show what that blended out so beautifully oh my god oh. So far, so good. I am very impressed. So, we're gonna go into this L palette right here with all of these shades. And I'm gonna place this one right here into, well, onto my lid. I'm gonna do that with an elf professional eyeshadow brush. all over the lid. These shadows are so beautiful. Oh my god.
Now for the inner, like, corner, inner crease, well, no. For the inner cornerish to, like, middle of the eyelid, I'm going to go into this gold shade right here. Just so we can brighten everything up a bit. Just darken the outer side also because... Now we're going to go into this dark brown shade in just a little tiny bit, not a lot, right? Dust off excess and just diffuse any harsh lines there may be. Okay, the eyes are finished. Next we're going to go into the 3 in 1 mascara. I don't know why I didn't take this out of the package yet. The wand looks like this. This mascara reminds me of the It Cosmetics one. That one gives a lot of volume and length to my lashes, so hopefully this does the same. I'm incredibly impressed with e.l.f. so far. This gave my lashes so much length, but not, not that much of volume. Next, I'm going to go into foundation. I don't know which one I should use. I think maybe this one. So I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. small stippling brush. It looks like this. Just go into the shade. Then I'm going to go into my Real Techniques sponge and just press everything into the skin. So far, I'm so impressed. Oh my god. And I give a lot of coverage. So uh, I'm going to go and fill in up my eyebrows now. I'm gonna go into this black shade right here and just fill them in. These shadows are so creamy, oh my god. I think that is enough for the shadows. Next, I'm going to go into this bare, beautiful, lightweight concealer stick and just conceal. This is the medium to dark one. It twists up like so when you run out, so let's see. But yeah, see, this is so light for me. But it's so creamy also. Oh my god. Let's blend that out with our complexion sponge. It's it's super hard to blend out. Maybe because I didn't wet my sponge. I should go do that. Alright, let's see how well it blends out now. Alright, blend it out better when the sponge was wet, so keep that in mind if you want to try this product. And also, the product was very dry, so if you have really dry skin, I don't think you would like this very much. Next, we're going to set everything in place with the face prep and prime and set powder, I think that's what it's called, um, but yeah, the base powder that I got. 
I'm going to set that in place with an e.l.f. complexion brush. See, when I don't set my under eyes right away, then when I don't set them right away, they crease on me and I don't like that. Hopefully this powder keeps me matte all day long because I don't feel like touching up today. Are you guys proud of me that I didn't bake today? Oh my god, who am I? Who am I? Okay, next we're gonna go back into this palette. I'm gonna take this shade and use it as a bronzer. I'm gonna go back into my stippling brush and just put that on. Oh, let's see the darker color. Is it coming up? I don't think so. Did it show up? Maybe let's do this. Faster, but I'm gonna go into this dark brown shade and just do everything that I just did. Hopefully this turns out properly because oh, it's blood. Wow. Tiny dab. Okay, I'm more satisfied using the eyeshadow as a contour. But let's diffuse everything into the skin because that thing was pigmented. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. So for highlighter, I'm gonna, gonna do it. I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna take a swirl of two. So like, I'm just gonna make my brush go in there. And let's see what color comes out. Just keep backing it on. That's it. Definitely buildable. Now for lips, I'm gonna go in to this lip crayon thingy in the shade Wine. Just put this all over my lips. I really, 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 really like this color. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in to the lip lacquer, and this is in the shade Burgundy. And just put this all over our lips also. I really like how this turned out, like, oh my god. I liked everything that I got from e.l.f. except for this concealer. I'm still on the fence about it. I guess I gotta play with it a bit more. Maybe because it's so dry I have to damp my complexion sponge. But the eyeshadows went on beautifully because they were so pigmented. The lip color was so pigmented, the face powder was so pigmented, the mascara, I look like I have false lashes on, which is a look I usually go for. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like these, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.